What's up guys, I'm student Dr. Thompson. I'm a third year medical student here to talk about my surgery rotation, how it went, maybe some things that you can expect on your surgery rotation, and how to do well on the shelf exam that follows the, te the, the test following the rotation. Um, so stick around, because in the end I'm gonna go over must have resources to do well on the shelf exam. Um, now while most students get somewhere between six and eight weeks on their surgery rotation, Unfortunately, I only had four weeks to do my surgery rotation. Room was made in my curriculum for a few other elective courses. Um, but having said that, four weeks was still enough time for me to go through the resources that I'm gonna recommend and to do well on the shelf exam. So um, as a student on a surgery rotation, I would get to the hospital before my attending, I would pre-round on my patients, get to know how their night went, if they've been um, eating, constipation, diarrhea, vomiting, nausea. Um, I would be prepared to report on those patients, though I wasn't always asked to. Uh, I just wanted to know my patients almost better than the surgeon knew them um, to answer questions should they come up. Um, and then in the operating room, I was there, I felt like I was there mostly to observe. I was asked to scrub in on five, between five and eight surgeries each day. Um, scrubbing in, for those of you who don't know, is where you put on the surgical cap, face mask, um, sterile gown, sterile gloves, custom fit surgery gloves, right? Um, then you stand up near the patient and you're one with the, the, the sterile environment helping the surgeon or just watching. Um, that's the best view. If you're just gonna watch, you wanna be close to the patient. Um, and if you're not scrubbing in on a surgery, you might stand behind the drapes by the anesthesiologist or banish to the corner of the room where you don't really have a view of anything. But that, that does happen. So I, in my surgery rotation, I uh, was able to drive the camera. If you're doing a laparoscopic surgery, um, small incisions are made in the abdomen. One of those houses the camera. And uh, driving the cameras when you point the camera at whatever the surgeon is looking at. And it's actually, um, there's kind of an art to it, uh, a, a, a quick learning curve though, but that, that's kind of fun as a student because you feel like you're doing something. Um, I also held retractors where you're, you know, holding open the incision, the surgical incision, so the surgeon can work in that area. Um, and mostly other than that, oh, I, I sutured a little bit. Um, I learned a technique to close a laparoscopic incision where you bury the knot, and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so I, I've actually come up with a few videos so far, that, and I'll be adding more to a playlist on, on my surgery rotation, videos that you should watch. One of them is actually burying the knot. And I would recommend you practicing suturing. Everyone recommends this, but um, I had the question several times, have you done this before? and I was unable to answer yes. Um, I think I would have answered yes if I had done that before on a pig's foot or on a piece of cloth. Um, as long as I had practiced a suture, I would, re I would respond yes to that and I would probably have been able to do more. Um, now, the reason why I say to respond yes to it even if it wasn't in a live surgery is because you're watched very closely. And if you do something wrong, um, the surgeon will correct you or his or his mid-level or, or um, a technician. So um, anyway, yeah, that's, that's my, my bit of advice there. Now, the night before, um, you, you will most likely get a heads up as to some of the surgeries, if not all of them, that you'll be doing the next day. The night before, I'd go home and I would read a book called Surgical Recall. In Surgical Recall, there's different chapters on specific surgeries. There's a lot of information in there. But these specific surgeries will go through the anatomy, the procedure, um, steps of the procedure. They'll also go through commonly asked questions for students. Really, really good resource. Surgical recall. I would definitely recommend that. Didn't really help me on the shelf exam as much as I thought it would, but it really helped me to look smart in front of the attending physician. Um, but there's going to be a lot of times when you're pimped and you don't know the answer, so you respond with, I'm sorry, I don't know, but I'll look that up tonight. And here's where I really want to make um, an emphasis on what I did, which was carry a small black notebook that fit in the pocket of my um, scrubs. 
In that notebook, I would show the surgeon that I was writing down the question. I'd go home and look it up. And then most importantly, I would bring it up the next day. The surgeon doesn't remember what assignments he gave you to, to, to look up. You know, there's a lot of students, a lot of residents, and other people. Um, he's probably not going to ask you, did you look up that paper on the cystic artery blockade, blockage, or whatever? There, you're going to have to bring that up. And I think this is where students can really have room to shine, is when they return back the next day and report on what they studied that night and expand upon the question that was asked. Go into detail in your studying and learn how to, to really impress the surgeon. Again, the surgeon's not going to, to follow up with you on what he assigned you to read necessarily, but if you bring it up, he'll be impressed, or she. Do as much as you're allowed to do. I wasn't allowed to write post-operative notes, but if you're allowed to, which many of you will um, be, I would suggest learning to do that day one and do that every single time. Do, find out what you're allowed to do and do that and do it every time and do as much as you can. That's another way to really shine. Finally, um, let's go over the resources that are must-haves to do well on the shelf exam. First, UWorld question bank very helpful. Second, I did case files surgery. I did blueprints surgery. I also did Pistana's surgery notes. It's a very small book that's worth its weight in gold um, for, that goes over really, really high yield surgery stuff. Helped me on the shelf exam. Um, and then third, or fourth, fifth maybe, I, um, I, I did doctors in training, crash course videos on surgery. There was like four or five ten minute videos um, and worksheets. And then finally um, what I talked about which was surgical recall. I would definitely recommend getting that book and going over it each and every night before surgery. Um, I hope this is helpful to some of you. Surgery is very hard for um, uh, stereotypically um, but it can be very fun. It was my favorite rotation to date and um, and hopefully the information that I provided in this video will give you at least somewhere to start as you go about your surgery rotations. Guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, uh, click a thumbs up, make a comment. All that really helps the channel. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.